I'm Mert Straffer, and I'm here on the set of Orphan Black Season 2. Today we go behind the scenes, and I talk to Evelyn Brochu, who plays Delphine. Stay tuned. Is there something going on I should know about? Where is Cosima, Delphine? Exactly where you want her. Here in town, considering your employment offer. Be careful playing for the other team, Delphine. Cosima's scared of us. She's seen how you've persecuted Sarah. Sarah is not your subject. Here with Evelyn Brochu on the set of Orphan Black Season 2. So you know what's interesting? You're kind of like the, the second leading female on this show, right? When you actually think about it. I'm, act I'm, I'm like the ninth. But, uh, <laughs> well, it's all, it's Tatiana and Evelyn, then all a bunch of dudes. Uh, you're right, but there's the, what's the name of that cop lady? I keep forgetting her name, DeAngelis. She's really good too. Ainsley's yeah. really cool. So I think, I, I think it's a show about, you know, strong leading ladies, which uh, I like. Yeah. You know, it's, it's gotten so much critical acclaim. Not a lot of people like knew about it when it first came out, but I feel like the whole world is talking about Orphan Black right now. What is that like? And does that add a degree of pressure on, oh my gosh, I can't mess up this amazing show? Um, I, I, you know what, it, it feels like it can't be messed up because the writers are just so good. You get script as, after script of just really, you know, amazing storytelling and you just can't go to bed if you don't finish that episode. And so, and I, I, I do, I do feel like that, that the love is, is definitely growing for the show. And, you know, obviously for Tatiana, she got nominated for the Golden Globe, which I was really hoping for and I'm so happy for her. So I, I do feel like it's starting to... There's a buzz. There's a definite buzz. But that, I think, to me, is just more exciting because you're like, more people are going to get to see this this project that we're all really passionate about. So you're involved in one of the riskier storylines with Cosima. What is that like to play? I think, you know, the stakes are going to be even higher. You know, uh, what I like about this duo is not the fact that there are two ladies in love with each other. The, the, that's not a problem. I think that's so cool. The actual problem is that they're sitting on you know uh, different sides of the of the, the science fence, mm -hmm. and I think that will deepen. I think they need each other now that we know that Kasim is sick, so they need each other um, to to save her. So I think the love and the science is getting intertwined in a very complicated, complex, beautiful way. And I think the writer the writers just took it one step, you know, towards intensity and complexity. How, how hard is it for Tatiana to play all these different characters? You know, I feel like, okay, all right, give me my dreads. No, give me this dress. No, give me the glasses. Like, does that ever, do you see this happening? Or is it sort of like just common now, now that you're in season two? You know what? It never feels rocky. It always feels so fluid. And to me, it's really astonishing because I get to see it. I mean, I watched the show over the holidays because season one was playing again. And I was... Oh, I was, oh, she's so good, but I get to see it. I get to see the switches. I remember this season I got to see Kasima and Rachel mm -hmm. on the same day, and I, I had a problem feeling comfortable with Rachel because it was another human being. Like, I know Kasima. Kasima's my buddy, but Rachel is a different yeah. story. I have to get to know her, you know, it's kind of more difficult. So it's really, it feels, I don't know what it's like from the inside, but it feels like a really flawless process. You know, are the stakes raised in season two? Like, is it just like more of the same? Does the show just become bigger? Is it, you know, just as easy to follow? Because that was my concern. I was just like, man, this sounds so complicated. You know, you're going to have to be pretty intelligent to figure this show out, but really anyone can get it. I think so. I think the keys are pretty, uh, you know, they're there. I think it's it's good that it says it, it's a smart show. I like that. I like feeling smart when I watch a show. I don't like to feel overwhelmed, but I don't think it's, I think it's going to get more dense, but not more complicated. Uh, what can we expect from the Dyad Institute, you know, because this is the first time we're really going inside, you know, it was sort of like this myth in season one, like what goes on there? So in season two, I, I imagine we're going to see a lot more of it. Yeah, I feel like in season one, we were kind of like a satellite of Dyad. And I think Delphine was trying to lure, like, you know, Kasima in. Um, for, 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 I think in, in Delphine's mind, for good reasons, but Dyad is a huge mysterious force. Mm -hmm. And so now that they're in, I think it's even more, you know, intense and we, we get to think a whole lot more about, you know, this, 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 it's, it's pretty actual, you know, you know, branding life, you know, can, mm -hmm. can we, it is happening, you know what I mean? Totally. Stuff like that. It's good to get right into the middle of it. 
You know, I, I feel like it usually takes the course of a whole like couple of seasons to get a character good, to go from like bad to good. But I feel like Delphine, it was just like, oh, I, I can't stand her. Like she's setting her up. She's setting her up. And then all of a sudden you turn good. So would you say that Delphine is a good character or a villain? Um, oh, she has to think about it. No, I think, you know, as an actor, you always try to uh, just if, like find a you always think of your character as good because as human beings, when we do bad things, we do them for good reasons for our good reasons, mm -hmm. but um, I think she's truly in love with Cosima. Uh, I think the great thing about Delphine is that she's mysterious, so who knows? And for, for yourself, do you see any of yourself in the character? Um, you can say no, it's fine. No, you, you know, there is, there always is. Um, you know, she's definitely driven. Uh, which I think I am. I don't think I'm as um, ambitious, though, or like that that strongly. And I'm, I don't definitely definitely don't have the science mind. I'm not. I was not good in math. Um, I could not work at the dyad, even if it was to do the photocopies. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you, do you feel like this show is sort of like putting a spotlight on Canadian shows in general? Because it's, it's amazing to me that this show is like produced, directed, like, you, you know, you're Canadian too. So yeah. is it sort of putting a focus on Canada and just how good we are? I think so. I, I, I went to L.A. Uh, for a bit to do something and I felt like people were like, oh, I'm in, and it's shot in Toronto, right? And, uh, uh, and Tatiana, I, I haven't seen it yet, but I have to. I mean, so I feel like, yes, it's definitely um, turning heads our way. And, and I also feel like one of the big misconceptions is a lot of people say this is like Tatiana's show, but really, like, it's the supporting cast is just as good, you know? Do you feel like they get enough credit? Um, I mean, I, I definitely feel like we get a lot of love. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, some people from the social uh, media a group came, came to see us and just showed us how, how much, you know, art is made and how much the Clone Club is a, is a, is a, is a part of the mm -hmm. phenomenon and a, actually now become a part of the show even, of the experience of the show. So, no, I think we do get the, 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 the props and the love, yeah. And, and how great is it to have a show that has such a fanatical fan base? You know, I feel like there's some people that, like, are literally, like, sitting at home, like, in front of their TV just waiting for season two. You know, I'm, I'm being dead serious. Like, I think there's some clone club members that are literally just, like, waiting. Um, you know, I can relate to that, and I, I think that's great. I mean, when, when you love a show that much, that's, you know, kind of what you're hoping to be a part of when you're, an, uh, you know, a, a part of the crew or an actor like myself. I remember when I was young... I, I, I used to babysit on the night of my favorite show and I would kind of like pretend oh it's time to go to bed just to put them to bed in time to make sure I wouldn't miss that show it's just such a important part of my life so I can totally understand and I'm glad that this show is a part of a lot of people's lives because you know it's smart it features strong um, you know female characters um, I feel like the the the, the, the way homosexuality is treated as very modern and cool so like for many reasons I'm just so glad that people are into it you know what I mean and, and finally like if somebody has never seen the show before you know why should they watch Orphan Black oh god I always love asking this because you can really like label it down because it's smart it's thrilling and it's funny Amazing. Well, I'm, I'm hoping you can give me a little tour of this whole, like, diet place that we're in. Well, does, that, does that sound good? Well, I definitely won't be able to explain all these tubes and all that, okay, you know, gotcha. stuff, but I can show you around, definitely. I, I want to pretend that I'm, like, leaky. Can we do that? Let, let's do that. You're going to have to take the leaky voice. I feel, like I, I feel like I'm, you know, I kind of yeah, got the scientist vibe. Let's get your vibe. lab coat. Let's okay, get your lab it. coat. I love it. Amazing. I'll put one on, too. I love it. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> we'll do that right now. So we are in the Diet Institute and we're about to check out Dr. Leakey's office, right? Yeah. I feel like this is an international place of mystery. It is. It okay. truly is. Yeah. So, ooh, I want to check out that bookshelf yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so tell me about this bookshelf. Like, what, what is all this stuff? I feel like this is, is, this is like Dr. Leakey's school, but in, in the form of a bookshelf. Now, um, you know, I think it's, it, it shows his passion for... Um, Biology. Biology, obviously. Skulls. There's one on the desk, too. There's a really cool skull. Is it there? Oh, really? No, it's gone. It was probably maybe he just kept it for his personal collection. Yeah, maybe he just always has it in his That's, pocket. Yeah, so he looks like that kind of guy. Maybe I should do that, too. Just kind of always carry it and oh, just be like... No, that's, that's creepy. That's is creepy. it? Yeah, is yeah, it? You no. want to do it, though? Yours, have it, okay. and you can keep the dyad. Oh, too. look at this! Yeah, so you totally have like, like work full here. access to the dyad. What's, not, what's the highest level of access? Because I have level three. Oh, level three? No, that's kind of low, actually. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I want to go check maybe out the season, Maybe season three you'll get a full access. Level, level one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just like you. I was terrible in chemistry and biology. Were you? Awful. Awful. I was just like, can I just take another English class, please? I know, me too. Me too. Uh, so, so this is the desk. This is where the magic happens. Like, are you usually sitting across? No, I, I, I don't think I ever stepped this way. Oh, no way. way. No, I've never used those three phones either. This is amazing. Wow. You can, you can talk to I feel like it's not plugged into anything, though. It's not. That's the magic of the television. That's the So you'd be leaky. You'd be here. Gotcha. Okay. I'd like be here, and I would speak like this. Okay. Wait. So, 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 what does leaky usually say? Gelatine. You have to do the, the mat. So Delphine. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be so horrible at this. Okay. Do it. So Delphine. That was great. That was great. No, you're just saying that. That was awful. No, no. Let me hear it one more time. Let me hear it one more time. Do it. Do it. Okay. No, you gotta give me an example, bro. Okay. Um, I gotta channel my inner yes, leakies. Me too. So Delphine. So Delphine. You're perfect. You no, hold, this is a whole. You gotta hold the skull, it's gonna help you. Oh my god, it just broke open. Oh, oh what did I do? Bad, no! That's, that's, that's a bad, bad. sign. That's, that's a bad sign. Jinx the whole. Ugh. Oh my goodness. So Delphine. Amazing. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.